Yo, hello there, medical science explorers and uh, plumbing amateurs and those who are just interested of getting things done with their bare hands. Well, here comes today we're doing a transplant surgery of the valve from the glacier um, faucet system. So the problem, the symptoms of the of the condition is that when you're flipping your adjusting flow uh, handle you have an uh, annoying drip from from the actual outlet of the faucet so what we end up doing you have to put the hand at a specific position to prevent the dripping which is annoying obviously so to get rid of those uh, annoyances all you need to do is just do a valve transplant surgery on a glacier uh, they are readily available in uh, Home Depot uh, nine something dollars and you gotta make sure you have the right um, size and design of that it, it might depend on your faucet okay so uh, this assembly is pretty uh, self-explanatory you know you're gonna have to you, you just have to follow the guidelines reverse in the reverse you're gonna see when I'm gonna put it together okay so we have a brand new valve we have anesthesia already yeah okay so and it's a foolproof mechanism you know it has these special knobs that um has to align and then you just push it in and that's it and it has a um, washer and a special washer so when it comes in and it close you grab uh, this golden washer comes in. You know, make sure you don't break the tread. What I like to do is I go in counterclockwise first. That's it. So I feel like I'm on the thread, and then I easily. It shouldn't have any forcing uh, to go through. That's it. So this is it. This part is done. Um, for aesthetic reasons, obviously. You might wanna. We well, already did some cleanup here, just lots of touch ups. So just get this source of bacteria. You know, I wanna make sure our surgery is going in sterile conditions, obviously. Okay. Now let's on to back business. Obviously, when you're going to be removing the valve, you make sure the blood supply, the water, is off. Yeah, so right now, yeah, all you need to do is... And sometimes it's an easy to do a two-man job, but... Yeah. There is a little washer, contour washer underneath. Uh, so you just fall on this. Okay, so uh, we're pretty much in business. Um, you will need a special uh, either monkey wrench or this type of a grabbing tool because the, the diameter of this one is a bit of it's pretty big. So I think it's like four centimeters this way. So you're gonna make sure you'll be able to grab this and then just make it a little tighter. Not too much force because all I need at this point is uh, okay. I think it has to go this way. Yeah, for the dimensions of the handle. And don't forget the 
on and obviously you want to make sure that you don't lose your tools so you, you want to put a stopper right here in the hole But not least, there's another. This is plastic, huh? so you gotta be very careful and gentle with this. Alright. Then, okay, the position of the handle, in order for you to be able to apply it, uh, yeah. So. Regardless of what position you are, the, the actual hole for this, because you know, like a holding part goes under, so and you will need a torque screwdriver T10 size 10. Okay. So once you position get that in yeah yeah um, yeah I'm expecting this is probably the trickiest part I should have done it without uh, aligning this but what you can do you can pre-install it because it doesn't have to be all the way in okay so just put it just a bit so because it's the idea is that it has to hold in, so it's like that, so they wouldn't be lost. Okay, and now there is a little hole underneath. Uh, just Sometimes a flashlight will be useful. Okay, so I feel like I'm on a thread. So okay, again, those parts are plastic. You don't need to push mu push much force, uh, you know. So as long as the handle is not falling off, that's it. You're good. So now we can uh, put it to test. So we're gonna stop the bypass machine. We're gonna let the water flow. So far, we don't see any problems. We don't have any leaks. So we let the hot and cold water come in. And then at this point, I consider this surgery been successfully completed.